I'm Peter, and welcome to another edition of F5 Dev Central's Lightboard Lessons. Virtualization continues to impact the enterprise and how IT delivers its services to meet business needs. Whether it's application virtualization in some cloud or desktop virtualization, about two thirds of organizations are running some sort of virtualization technology. Virtual desktop infrastructure or desktops from the data center provide employees with anytime, anywhere flexible access, whether they're at work, at home, on the road, or on mobile. It also provides IT administrators a centralized location to manage all the desktops. But virtualization also requires a lot of resources. We're talking network and hardware and storage. VMware's Horizon View is a leading VDI solution, and Big IP can help optimize and secure your Horizon View environment. So let's get drawing, why don't you? Why don't you? Why don't me? Why don't we? So let's uh, draw our DMZ box right here, that special spot, DMZ. And so over here, we're going to put our external clients, you know, people outside the domain. They come in to a firewall right here. And then with Big IP in the mix, typically there is, we'll just put Big IP right here. Big IP. And it's a LTM, a local traffic manager. Also in the DMZ, in a typical deployment, you have what's called either these security servers or access points. Access points. And the real difference is that the security servers are on Windows servers. And so you need to worry about the patching and SSL certificates and public DNS entry and those sorts of things. The access points are actually hardened Linux boxes kind of designed to be in the DMZ. It's up to you which one you'd like to use so since they have feature parity. And what these security servers and or access points do is they proxy the VDI, the Horizon View protocols. Those protocols are either PCOIP or BLAST Extreme. And what these protocols do essentially is they're the ones that transmit the images from the virtual desktop to the clients themselves, the keystrokes, the mouse clicks, and those sorts of things. Those are those protocols, and these proxy the protocols. And so when there's a virtual desktop request made, the external client comes in, hits the firewall, hits the big IP LTM, and then the local traffic manager does what it does. It load balances these security servers slash access points. From the security servers, now these go to what's called the connection servers. Now the connection servers, there's a, um, first there's a one-to-one -one matching for security servers and connection servers. So however many you have here, you have to have down here. And so the security servers then send things like the authentication information and the connection servers will then talk to AD, verify the user, and they'll also then uh, divvy up and send out the uh, DNS and DHCP and those sorts of things. And then underneath the connection servers would be your view pools. So the desktop pools, if you will. So VP, VP. Now from a physical standpoint, all of this right here would be your view pod. That would include all of the pieces here physically, probably on a, on a singular device and uh, ESXi host and so forth. But logically, obviously, we're separating them now. So once everything is verified the, um, and they get to their specific um, virtual desktop here, then the connection goes back out and goes to the external user. They get their virtual desktop and they're off and running. Over here, we have the internal clients. And since they're already on the domain, they've already been authenticated to come in. The internal clients too will hit the LTM, but then they just come over here. They don't have to go through the security servers. 
and they get to their internal connection servers, and then they get access uh, to their virtual desktops. Now, this is kind of like your typical kind of um, diagram topology with big IP LTM in the mix. Now, usually here on Lightboard Lessons, we do a lot of drawing, as you see, but this one, I'm actually going to be doing some erasing. So how can Big IP also help consolidate, secure, and optimize this environment? Well, it's pretty simple, actually, is on your Big IP, you already have LTM running. All you need to do is add the APM module, Access Policy Manager. Once you put Access Policy Manager into the mix, now what happens is that the external client comes in, hits the firewall, goes to the LTM or the LTM APM combo. And since APM itself does the AAA, the authentication, the authorization, the accounting, APM can also proxy, natively proxy the PCOIP and Blast Extreme protocols. And so now what you can do is actually get rid of these access points or security servers, essentially eliminating a layer of infrastructure. When the connection comes in, now APM just goes directly to the connection servers because it understands the protocol, sends the authentication information, and um, this still does the same kind of mechanism back here, but now it's all being delivered out of the big IP back to the external client. If we move over to the internal client, in this instance, the internal client also comes to Big IP, but because everything is proxied uh, through APM here in the DMZ, and remember Big IP, ICSA certified firewall built and hardened for the DMZ, that's where it typically lives, you can actually eliminate these two connection servers over here, consolidate that, maybe redeploy those servers as something else. And now we've kind of cleaned up quite a bit our diagram here. And so Big IP Access Policy Manager offers that full proxy support for the protocols. You eliminate at least a layer, potentially two layers of infrastructure. It also removes that one-to-one -one dependency from the security server's access points to the connection server. So you don't need to worry about that and provides that unified global access to all of the allowed applications and network locations. Because, you know, back here in the, in the, in the pools and the virtual desktops, not only do they have the Horizon View clients, they may have, you know, some financial, some Oracle clients running back there or some other virtual uh, tools and applications that are used depending on if you're in finance or some other um, department. The other cool thing is that some of the latest uh, enhancements with APM is that uh, USB redirection, for instance. So you plug in a USB on your client here, it'll then appear on your virtual desktop over here, which is probably kind of cool. You can also offer single namespace. So just a single URL for the location and the intelligence with Big IP will determine exactly you know, what pool they need to go to, what applications get presented to them, the resources that uh, they have access to. And so a light board lesson about how Big IP, LTM, and specifically APM can help consolidate, secure, and, uh, and enhance your Horizon View virtual desktop infrastructure. From all of us here at Dev Central, thanks for watching. Check out our other videos, our other Lightboard lessons. And until next time, thanks for watching.